All right, a quick update on Caspa here. So Caspa pushed back through the 236 here at 16. She's looking good. Low to the high. We came all the way down to that 0.5, held the uptrend. We're back over the 32. Now the 236. So she's trying to push here. It's all going to depend on if we can stay over 16 and get over the new high here at 19.3, 19.4. And if that is going to be the case, then I'm looking for Caspa to move up past that potentially to the 3618 at 24 pennies. We're currently at 17 and a half here. So going from where we are right now, if we can push through that previous high, we may end up moving up about 37% here. And then the next target after that is the top of the macro fib here at the 4236 at 58 to 59 cents. And then that's where we're looking at about a 235% move here on Caspa, which, you know, translates into about a three and a half X almost uh, out of here. And then we'll just kind of take it from there. I'm not saying those are the targets that are going to get hit, but they are Fibonacci levels on the much larger fib here to try to get hit. And then, of course, we have this smaller one here to where the overall price, the overall chart for Caspa, higher highs, higher lows, slightly higher high here off of this high. So she's looking good. She's pushing up at the moment. As long as you hold over this 236 at 16 and then potentially the 382 at 15, you are short term bullish here holding this uptrend and pushing higher on Caspa. Uh, so that's what we got for now on Caspa. The momentum has come back in. You can see this is crossed bullish. It's about to cross back over the 50 line here. So what are your thoughts on Caspa at this point? None of this is financial advice, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.